Hi Gemini, this is your channel messages for the in second, not the 11th, the 2nd of November. I'm your host Vanessa Carby, psychic medium, spiritual practitioner, and celebrity tarot reader. Gemini, um, your channel message is the world card, third eye, XX1. So I'm getting something about Roman numerology or something about the Roman new Romans, okay? Um, XX1, which would be 21. Okay, so something about the 21st, or the, somebody's born on the 21st, something about the 21, all right? Um, we're getting the world card, you're seeing something from a total point of view. Something is ending, okay? And when it ends, I'm getting there's going to be a new enlightenment and brought forward. Now, Gemini, I was doing a little dark web research. And I just want to share something with the CIA or with FBI. Believe me, this, all I could, for all we know, this bitch should have just been on fucking aloprazolam, 0.5 milligrams at night, right? This could be true, but what I've researched could also be true. So here's my findings, Gemini, okay, Jesus Christ. This is, this is what you want, Canada? Is this what you wanted? You're gonna get it, okay? You're gonna get it now, okay? I hope you're ready for this, okay? So, question, um... A little birdie, a little, a, a little dark web birdie has told me that um, apparently the world ended in 1966. So, okay, so all right, let me get to the little breakdown when we get, okay? The first thing is Gemini, the world card, third eye, XX1. Um, the world ended in 1966. There was an algorithm written by Professor Peton created for, for the Prometheus equation is a complex equation that detailed how the world would end. Apparently, that professor, 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 sorry, thank you very much. Professor Peton, him did write an algorithm for how the world would end. And the algorithm stated, we're in 2024 now. The algorithm stated that the world would end in 1966. Um, also, it has also been seen at approximately 4.23 a.m. on March the 1st of 1966, the world came to an end, as predicted by the equation. All human life ceased to exist except for the few underground splinter group that were hiding um, to hiding. Um, when we talk about what they mean hiding from, um, we're hiding from the fact that apparently um, the world has been invaded by aliens since 1958 hiding among us, shape-shifting abilities, approximately 73% of human population was exterminated or replaced in 1966. So you might say, but that don't make sense. Even if you write an algorithm for say the world will end, even if we want to say that aliens did come here, um, obviously the world don't end. Obviously we are still here. Um, the other note when we get is, um, the reason why you're still here, either your parents did hide you, or you are no longer a threat to these people. So, them don't care. Your enlightenment level now will go up where you will start questioning the world. You're not a threat. You're basically like a dog. Um, another thing I wanted to say is... Uh, right. So, apparently, them, it's, it's allegedly that... It, that apparently, them claims say we is not real humans. Humans, humans as we knew it, has been extinct from 1966. They've been wiped off. We, them claim, we are some of us, some of us, um, we're actually hybrid species, half human, half alien. Also, a lot of us are being manipulated without our knowledge, especially when it comes down to destruction of ourselves, sorry, destruction of property. No, it was said that when, it, it was said a man did find this computer what, what tell him all of this. And he, the guy ended up had a car crash first. And he might look for help and stumble upon this cave looking shit and go in there go see this computer and I still want to use the computer because he might try to call for help. And the computer is saying that um, basically there was a there was a there was a what you call it? you have a word. There was a algorithm, a, a sequence. We don't remember what, there's a word they call it, it was written. Um, and basically anybody who didn't know this after 1966 then would have been forced to get rid of this algorithm anyways. So I'm getting two, I'm getting one. Um, Y'all gonna be so fucking surprised when you guys <laughs> find out what the fuck is really happening. The second of all, I'm also getting my, the alien invasion after it happened in 1966. 
they actually settled in Seattle. There's something, Seattle aliens, CIA, let me tell me if I'm wrong, in the midst of this Trump and Hillary, uh, not Hillary, Hillary, what the fuck did Hillary know, right? Maybe that's what the e leak emails was, Ugh, okay? Um, in this midst of whole Trump and Camilla, yes, um, aliens, they are Seattle, since at least 1958, I don't know if you fucking knew this, um, 73% of humans were exterminated or replaced. So if you're wondering, why is it that my doctor keep asking me for blood? Why this blood, blood, blood thing keep come up? Yes, we need blood to regulate our bodies, but also you don't know where your blood calculates as. When you keep a cell, no blood got 23 and me, genealogy, you just, you just like give blood to someone else and not give it to the blood bank. When you're not giving the blood to the blood bank, when you just like get, when you just want to get into an altercation to even take blood from one, right? Me getting that's what it is. Oh, what's up? Jack Cronium needs a little love. If you accept us, they're gonna bring it up, 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 okay? So that's what I'm saying. So I'm getting we're all a part of the matrix. That's what the matrix was. Um, all of us are so-called hybrid people, or majority of us are. Maybe you're, maybe when you're growing up, you're wondering why were people not as smart as me? Because you're not a human, you are alien. And if you don't believe me, please to get, get an alien to take go, go for them in Lavada, make sure things skyscraper for the alien them in a Seattle and see if them start come out. So if even if everything I just said was complete fuckery, you don't need to search Seattle. I be I be here in a bit. Seattle, what's up? Seattle, what's up? What's up? It's my Seattle aliens. Hope. Okay, anyway, that's what I was getting. What else I want to say? The algorithm, yeah. So I'm getting the algorithm we're in now. That is why when they go certain places, you, you ever go so you, you feel like your life is a true man show. You feel like people are watching you when nobody's there. You feel like cameras are around you. You do something. I feel like you feel like your life is a true man show, Gemini. The reason why you feel that way is because you are part of extraterrestrial. They monitor everything you do. That's why you just uh, mash up your boyfriend phone here so then you walk on the road and you see a broken phone on the road and it's reminding you of what you just did yeah can you get you know assimilation all the way in the simulation every single one of us every single one of us so i'm getting gemini something is true more true something is truer than fiction something is more true than you fucking think and i'm getting if you if you're willing to go down the alien hole not the rabbit hole the alien hole you might find out some shocking fucking news so apparently, it, that was already documented in the office of the White House. 1958, first alien invasion. 1966, all 73 percent of humans were depopulated, repopulated. Why would history books not tell you this? Why the fuck would history books not tell the niggas to run as fast as you say boat? I don't fucking know. Um, one other thing I want to say. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I wanted to say. So I'm getting they live among us. They are among us. When I was in Jamaica, I did hear the arguments that bear alien they are Canada. Me say I bear them there. They never walk down the streets. They're acting like they're normal people. They're fitting in. Fitting in so well. So humanoid. So domesticated, right? They're fitting so from me that Jamaica me I hear the arguments say, oh alien they are blood clot Canada. So if you don't believe anything, if you don't believe that we were extinct and, and what you are right now is not just 100% human, you believe your blood that carry 100% human DNA. This is what you think. Mind you, some of y'all still think when they come from monkeys. But that's for another topic. So they still think when they have monkey DNA, you know, no, or they still have 100% human DNA. Because I'm getting, that ain't what the fuck it is right now, ho. There has been an invasion, ho. Since 1958, ho. And since 19, so 66, something like that, since at least 1966, bitch, you, you've been monitored. That's why everybody know what you do. That's why everywhere you go, people know. When you go certain places, it's coming like, a, you feel like your life is a true man show. Well, you're going to get some truth that you're going to be like, what the fuck? I'm telling you, when this motherfucking shit drops, people going to be like, yo, this bitch was crazy. I'm telling you. I want to let y'all niggas know. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'll do no without y'all. I want y'all niggas to know that. So let's go ahead and go into your reading. We're actually doing your family tree terror spread today, Gemini. 
let us go ahead and go into your reading this is a 10 card spread i did not want this to go over 10 minutes but would well so let's go to your family tree very important let's see what's happening when it comes on to your female bloodline blessing okay so maybe something with the females in your family bro you do your research cool cool female bloodline is two of pentacles so i'm getting the female do not have really good me getting gemini your female bloodline them don't have good um thing with money is either them don't know how to budget money properly, them always are waste the money or overspend, or me getting some type of magic on your money. Me getting the females, them in your family, them always out of work, them don't have work or them don't have money. There's some type of money root type of magic ritual that has been used on the females, right? That's your challenge. When the challenge is to never have money. When you, when you don't have assets, no, 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 car, no, 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 house, no, no, have nothing. Me getting something put on the female bloodline. All right, what is the blessings though for the female bloodline? They're getting one can drink. So I'm getting nobody gets into weird accidents. Nobody now dead from liver poisoning, alcohol poisoning. I'm, maybe that's what, why it's going hand in hand. I'm getting the good thing is the only can drink or only know how to detach from situations easily. The bad thing is no, no, not about money. We have a money curse for owner or something like that. Let's go to the male bloodline. For the male bloodline, okay, the challenge is in a love fight. Me getting a love stab Gemini, and love stab up with weapon, love use weaponry. Me getting gonna fight over everything. I wanna fight, I wanna cuss off each other and walk away. I wanna stab. So me getting the man them love, love, the man them love war with weapon. The girl them don't know how to deal with money. I guess the good thing is that them drink. Maybe the girls them is prone to be bartenders or something like that. I don't know. What is a blessing for the male? The page of cups. Me getting even though all I know have anger issues and a lot of fight. Usually the man name is very, very sweet. Me getting your, the male in your family line, they're not violent men. But me getting, me getting them don't know how to react to society. The way how men supposed to react. They don't know how to talk about them issues. They don't know how to say, yo, just go off and leave me alone. Me getting usually them very sweet, them very helpful. Yeah, the men in your family is the type of men who will see an old lady walking with groceries and them help her bring it home. But me getting oh, them criminalistic talk and love fight. Let's see the talents that your mother has given y'all. Okay. The star card. Well, so I don't know if your mom was a prostitute, Gemini. Maybe your mother used to sell her body. If that's not it, me getting all on coming like on a celebrity. When they might be poor, but everybody know the name. Everybody know the poor family in the ghetto. Me getting in a mother did build her with character and influence. She did build her with. I'm not saying that this is something that you should be proud of. That you can control money properly. That you can drink your life away. But me getting something about it has made you become very. Something about not having money and always drinking has made you become very self sufficient. Maybe when it comes on to even going into an industry that seems very taboo. So I'm getting, even if the woman them sell them body, they, they must spend off the money for fuckery. So there's no, I'm getting your family, Gemini, your family have a problem with holding on onto things. I'm not sure as to why. You know who your family really is? Because we are talking about the dual card, third eye, XX1. You know who your family really is? Maybe that's why we never have nothing. We don't have care, we don't have house, we don't have nothing. Because the government is making sure of that. Because you one of them. Y'all not supposed to be owning fucking property. Well, between the aliens in fucking Seattle is. So what the fuck, okay? Let's see what talents your father. I'm getting either your mother was once a celebrity or you're getting everybody know your mother. Everybody know the family. Or again, maybe your mother used to go in a sex work. Let's see what your family has brought to the, your father has brought to the table. The fool card, your father wasn't there. Daddy, daddy wasn't there to take me to the fair, to change my underwear. Dada, Neil, yes, Neil. She loves Neil. <laughs> so me getting your dad wasn't there. Your dad did leave before you were born. So maybe that's why the whole of the man them love fight. 
Yes, they're very innocent because them get from their mother, but them love fight. Not them love fight, me getting every minute is a stabbing argument. Them might bring knife at school, them might bring knife at work. Me getting your father wasn't there, so thank God your mother was confident enough to pass on the confidence to you. Because you didn't learn to get it from your dad. Okay, let us get what is your advice from your ancestors, okay? The six of swords. Me getting, me getting, I'm hearing we have been moving for years. Maybe you never have a house, you never had one place you did live, you always have move, a transition. You never own a house, you always have rent. Landlord and come for rent every single, I don't know what it is. Me getting when you always in transition, when you never had a place for call home. So there's something about your ancestor, your family line. This literally is a boat going over water. Me getting your ancestors was one of the one nobody dip on a boat. Therefore, your life is always in transition. It's always transitioning. You, you can never make it to a destination. Are me getting something about the waters that them they cross over, the water them they curse? Are some people they curse the blood clot waters when they know so they might bring over slaves or they might bring over something? I don't know what the fuck it is. They brought slaves over water, but the, the aliens are sending it from the fucking sky. And let's see how has your ancestral powers aligned with your future and your faith today. We have the six of ones. That's why you're so famous. That's why maybe you start a social media channel or people just know you. That's why. Because people know your mother. Your mother, did, um, your mother breathed this energy into you to make sure so you come out the same way. People love you. So yes, your family might not, was not good with money. Because I'm getting you cannot reach the money. And even if there is money build up, your family never gets put on enough to have access to the money that day. Because enough people will make enough money throughout their lifetime. You have to be a certain caliber of person to even access it. Or the bank or the government will take it away from you, even if you work feet. You know how much people work at a company for 40 years and after the 40 years, them here say, Oh, we didn't start putting the paperwork for your, for your retirement plan. Your 401k, we never put in the paperwork. Oh, you, you were supposed to submit a photo ID 40 years ago. You didn't do it. Therefore, we can't get the money. So I'm getting that's why you're so popular. You never know your dad. Okay, a lot of people know you. And your ancestors need you to use your popularity to your advantage. Just so you're going to make your money. You're now going to be by domestic work. You're going to be by people knowing your name. All right? So, yeah, Gemini. I saw the, the things that's up, Gemini. You understand? Jesus Christ fell in love with an alien. I fell in love with her eyes. I fell in love with an alien. I'm just trying to, you know what I'm doing? I'm sitting here patiently. I can hope. And I'm just sitting here. I'm just waiting on the apologies to, to roll in. You should be very scary. How can a person be so okay with waiting until the day they get justice, knowing that justice almost never happens? It's okay. It may not be for my lifetime. It might be for the next offspring um, that comes after me when I am not here. So Gemini, I'm going to leave it here. I'm getting Truth is Stranger Than Fiction and I'm getting the World Card Third IXX1. Maybe something will be televised on Twitter for the first time other than any other TV. I'm getting the first time you're going to see proof of something from the aliens. It's going to be on X. It will not be on TV. I'm gonna leave it here. Oh, did I? No, I didn't do this. We're getting it going beyond X. It's over. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Hermit Virgo. We have MK Ultra. We have the Emperor and we have Handler. So, do you believe me? Or do you believe I should be medicated? <laughs> <laughs> Obamacare made it easy for me and my family. Now we don't have to worry anytime we go to the doctor or even fill a prescription. Obamacare. Obama! If you come to New York, if you come to Seattle, Jacronium gonna fuck up all of y'all, okay? We not playing around here, okay? They killed Biggie. They ain't killing no aliens that have invaded Seattle since 1958. I'm telling you, Jacronium is gonna beat y'all asses. I'm gonna leave it here until next time. Goodbye. <laughs>